Hello friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a crash test in Abacus Explicit. I will be doing crash test on aluminum. Initially, aluminum alloys are used widely in automotive industries due to their light weights. Research says that if they are used instead of steel, it causes about 25% reduction of weight and this in turn decreases the fuel consumption. So. In order to make, we need three parts, two rigid plates and one square tube, which we will be doing for crush analysis. So let's get into it. So click on parts, create, then deformable. Since we are doing a crush analysis, then name the plate tube square tube, shell. Extrusion continue. I'll be making extrusion with the help of points. So 38, negative 38, 38, 38, negative 38, negative 38, negative 38, 38, and so our base is ready. Now with the help of hand command, we create a cross section with the help of points. Then this is a depth. Make it 350. Okay. So our square tube. Extrusion is ready. Now create another part which are the rigid plates. Make it top discrete shell. Make it planning. Continue again with the help of points. We will be making our sheet 40. 40, negative 40, negative 40, 40, negative 40, negative 40, 40. And so the corners are ready. Done. Now we'll add a reference point. at origin now since the geometry is same so the bottom plate we can copy make it bottom okay now change the name of the, all the reference points is it is copied so make it Okay, and then the top reference point make it upper. Okay, and so we are done with the part module. Now define the property of the material. I'm using aluminum, so you can get the properties in any journals or from books. The mass density of typical aluminum material is 2.7 e minus 9, which is tons per millimeter cube. And elastic properties it is in megapascal. Poisons ratio 0.3. And since we are doing a buckling, post buckling behavior, so plastic data is also needed. So, yield stress. I've already made a table pre stress versus strain, so I will just copy it. 
and paste. And as we are done with the material data, change the name to aluminum. Some issue with that. Maybe just leave it. Then create the section which will the um, section of the material which we have just created on the copper tube. Name it shell homogeneous. Assign the shell thickness value. Make it 1.5 mm. Assign the section which we have just created with the help of section assignment manager. Select the whole body, then from top surface, okay. Green color shows that the section material has been assigned to this section. Once we are done with the property module, we move to assembly, create instances, click on the button, then double click on the spat tube. Now we will be moving plate with reference to origin, so bottom plate should be at the bottom, so translate instances, click on the bottom plate. Text tool length is 350, so initial condition will be 0, 0, 0. And we have to move the plate in z direction, so the final endpoint will be of 0, 0, 350. Okay, now again, create instances, insert the top plate, which will be automatically at the origin. And yes, we are done with the assembly module. Now move to interaction. Initial condition create general contact explicit. Continue contact mechanical tangential behavior penalty and friction coefficient 0 0.2, which is the normal values for these kinds of experiments. Select that. Click OK, dismiss. No constraint manager. We have to constrain both the upper and lower plates with the copper tube. So we'll be assigning tie connection between top and copper tube. And create tie connection. Set the master surface, which will be lower plate. And done. Purple surface. Then select the edges of the copper tube. Click on done. Click OK. Tie connection has been set up. It is shown with the help of dots. So now the same procedure will be applied to the top plate. Tie. Continue. Set master surface, which will be the tie plate, top plate. Then, on surface, set the periphery of the square tube. Once we are done with the interaction module, now move to load module, boundary condition manager, to define the boundary conditions, create mechanical symmetry, we will restrict this lower reference point in all directions so that it will be fixed, so name it bottom. Continue, select the lower node, done, and click on it faster. And again, create second boundary condition, displacement. 
select the upper reference point done we'll fix this in all the directions except in z direction so that it will be able to translate only in z direction so that our crush can be performed so select all the elements except z now given a step create crash it will be dynamic explicit continuum time period uh, one millisecond is in it point zero zero one Now we'll set again load on the condition create mechanical displacement continue set the upper reference point which will be translating z direction done and set the distance I'm giving 50 mm now create the amplitude tablet data continue at 0 second 0 amplitude and 0 0.001 second amplitude 1 so all this placement will occur in this amplitude in the time period we have defined in a step ok select the amplitude Okay, dismiss. Hence, we are done with the loop module. Now go to mesh, make all the instances independent, bottom, square tube, top, make independent. Now assign the global size. Same issue. Yes. Now I'm assigning at five. Okay. The mesh done. Now assign the global size to the discrete plates. Bottom. Top. Then. Ten. Tie. Okay, Mars assign the mesh top bottom learn this every part has been assigned as we are done with the mesh module now go to job Job. Square crash. Okay, make it a square crash. Continue. Okay, now before submission data, please make a data check uh, so as to check whether there are some errors in material property or constraint or boundary condition. Once the check shows no error, you can submit your data for explicit analysis. And it is still running. So it has been completed, no errors. Now submit the data for analysis. Okay. You can monitor the results. Click on monitor. It shows you your CPU time, total frequency, increment, step numbers. So 
So the analysis has been completed. It shows you all the data, increment, total time, CPU time, step time, SMS, and good results. Click on animate. And this is what we have done. I'm creating a geometry and crashing it. Make it slow so that you can capture the post buckling behavior. See how it absorbs energy, then buckles. Thank you very much for watching my video. For any comments, suggestion, please drop down your comments here. Do like, share, and subscribe.